Hi, I'm David Cooper from ePianos and today I've got to compare the Taurus 3 and the Taurus 4. Please can you support us by pressing the thumbs up at the bottom of this video, it really helps us. Have a look at our website epianos.co.uk where you can see our new and used organs, keyboards and pianos. Right, so you've got a Taurus 3 and you're thinking about a Taurus 4. Well they actually look quite similar don't they? The Taurus 4 is um, this one here, Taurus 3 is this one here. Now the obvious thing is the green buttons. On this one you've got green buttons for your registrations, your endings, your multipads and your variations and intros. One thing they've changed on the Taurus 4, as you'll see on this one, they've gone to blue. Um, believe it or not, um, the average um, person over 65 is more prone to be colour blind and this blue shows up much better for people with limited vision. So the, the blue is what the Taurus 4 gives you and that's quite a good way to notice the difference on the, on the panel, the, uh, the green to the blue. So the, the Taurus 3, we all know it's a fantastic instrument but they have made lots of improvements and they're um, because of the way it looks you automatically think oh it's just the same it's got the same panel and shape and everything else uh, one of the big changes is the speaker the speaker is now a lot more efficient so um, the speakers on the uh, Tyros 3 was actually the speaker from a Tyros 2 it's called the MSO2 and it has this silver front to it but when you get to the Tyros 4 they've come out with the MSO4 speakers and they've got the uh, the grey fronts on them. Now the, the speakers are powered by the bass speaker so you've got the floor speaker and that gives you the uh, power to come through to the small tweeter speakers but the Taurus 4 it's a more powerful sound and it gives you a much richer sound as well. Uh, the, the way I would always explain it if you think of a, a Tyros or a piano, a digital piano it's a little bit like the screen of your uh, iPad or when you take photographs it's like the pixels on a, um, a cheaper keyboard there'll be less pixels to the sound and when you get to a higher level instrument or a newer instrument they've made the capacity of that sound, the, the recording of it, the, the memory that holds it much better and so you get effectively more pixels like on a TV where it's a much clearer screen. So the sound on a Tyros 4 will have more pixels effectively than a Tyros 3 and that will give you a much richer sound. So looking at the panel, they all look so similar apart from these colours. We've still got the sliders that you're familiar with um, and you've still got the assigned slider for putting one thing of your own into the adjustment even though you're not actually able to always see all these sliders on the screen. But the sounds will be better. So let's go to the piano button. We've got um, a great selection of piano sounds and these are super articulation sounds. Super articulation. And you can see as I look through. Now if we look on the Tyros 3, and do the same thing. These are live sounds. So super articulation, um, live, we can see live on the top of the super articulation gives you a much richer, better sound. They've looked for more uh, variations in the way that you play the notes and to give you a better sound. So that piano, for instance, is a very um, a really good piano. If I take my chord facility off for a minute and just turn on that one piano sound, okay. put it up an octave but I can take it down too so I've now brought the octave down to give me a bit more range because Tyros 4's they didn't do the the 76 note version like they did on the 5 so we've got to move the octave to suit what we're playing so back to the top again down again piano sound. We'll compare it actually, let's play it on the other one. Let's see if we can see a difference. So piano, strings a minute,
You don't get that crispness and that, that top of the range, top of the uh, harmonics. As well as we do on this one. And that low sound. The old one. It's just a bit more richness, I think, when you're listening to the Tyros 4. So that's one of the big changes. Now, the choir sounds have really got improvement in them. So if we go into the choir button, we've got some new scat. Now these again are super articulation, so if I can press them really softly, we sound, da, ba, do, do, ba, ba. So it changes. Really good fun to play, isn't it? Now we've got others. We've got singers going shoe. Latin's good. Now the choir oohs and ahs are beautiful. These are boy choir. And we've got the R as well. A little bit further through these sounds, we've got um, we've got some fun stuff on the way. We've got shooby dooba, and that every note plays the other part of that. We've got dooby dooby. Badaya. Uh, what should we do? Watch we do, 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 watch And who are you is in there. Who are you? Who are you? So there's some really fun stuff in there. And then if we get a little bit further, we've got um, some more choir sounds. A uh, soft choir going, ooh. It's a bit like a male voice choir. Playing, um, really big sound. Now the church organs are also good, so in a minute we'll try mixing those together. But let's just go through some more choir stuff. We've got vibrato coming in. We've got auto R's and U's. Um, we've got gospely stuff. Gospel well. So loads of fun stuff. Another choir, one for boys. So I'd really recommend you get into that and really have a good fiddle around with it. And also we've got this demo button. Now you've got this on yours if you've got a Tyrus 3, but the demo button gives you a little um, idea of all the sounds and what they sound like. So had I been going on to that scat sound, press the demo button. So just give you an idea how you can play it, but that's for all the sounds. So I love a lot of the uh, saxophone sounds. If we go into a jazz saxophone, I can play it. Mm -hmm. 
but I can use the demo to show me how I could play it. It's effective, isn't it? Really effective. Now, these two buttons here, super articulation, you did have them on the Tyros 3, but they're so effective on these super articulation two voices, which are the, the upgraded voices to the old live sounds. So if we go into this jazz saxophone that we've got on here at the moment, if I play an octave look, it does the glissando between the two notes. If I'm not playing an octave, but I want that effect to come in, I have these two buttons and the, the top one does that step-by-step -step glissando. So I press the note, the button here, and when I play my next note after I press this button, it gives me that glissando. Ah, I've got it wrong way around. Number two gives me that slither one. One gives me the soft effect. Glides into it. So an octave will do it automatically. But I can press this button, get it without having to have an octave beforehand. So the articulation two voice is really effective. Now, things like on your trumpets, we can get them. If we go to a golden trumpet, you're probably familiar by pressing harder on it from big band. We get that wobbly effect. But if I use this articulation, number one, this gives me a breath sound. And number two, so every different sound are gonna give you different effects for these two buttons. And the clever thing is, if we go into one of these super articulation voices, let's go to the, uh, we'll go to the classic trumpet. I can press the info button here and it tells me which buttons I have to press to get a different effect. So the, the bend up is articulation one and articulation two. This is when my key is already playing, uh, oh, it's before I play it. And my key off is when I let go of my key, it will give me different effects sometimes. So it's worth reading this little info page, which we can get by just going to the sound we want to play and going into info and it shows me what I'm gonna get. So a very clear screen there to give you a bit more information. Now, um, as you probably know on Tyrus's, you've got this view button. And for those of you who want more to view on the screen at once, we press the view and you get 15 in a line, but they're much smaller. So we've got this same facility, press view again, and you've got the big 10 buttons with the five buttons down the side. So that's the view I always do, but you can jump between them just by pressing that view button. And that's something else you can do as well is there's all the sounds off of a, a Tyrus 3 are still in this instrument. So if you've got MIDI files or songs that you've recorded that you want to play back and you want to have exactly the same sound that you had in your Tyrus 3, it will work in here. You can bring your memory stick from your old model. We can help you to transfer the files, plug your memory stick into this one and uh, load them all in. But what will happen is there's a set of voices in here called, what are they called? They're called, um, let's look for them, shall we? If we go up, and then we go to page two, legacy, there we are. I was thinking of legends, a legacy. We press the legacy and we've now got another set of voices which are independent of the set that are on the panel. So if we wanted to go to the Tyrus 3 sounds, there's all these live voices, look, they're still in here. But if we come out, come out again, and then we go back to page one, we can see all the new voices in this one are the super articulation. But the legend, uh, legacy sounds, Go to uh, up, go to page two, and then go into legacy. And that's where you're going to get all the sounds off of earlier Tyruses. So even a Tyrus 2, all the sounds from Tyrus 2 will be still in there for you. And that means that anything you've recorded, um, but also any of your registration. So we can help you with this. Anything that you've made registration wise or you've accumulated through older models, if it's from a Tyros, we can help you to load it in here, either into the, the big hard drive memory that's on the screen here for your registrations and your songs and your voices that you've made and your new styles that you've made and the new multi-pads you might have made. They'll all uh, transfer across and can be loaded in either onto a memory stick to use or actually into the memory. The memory capacity on here is really big, so that means that you can bring all your old files from your previous model and you haven't got to lose them and start all over again. So that's the, uh, the benefit of sticking with the Tyros and go into a, a higher model like the 4 because you'll get the, the chance to bring all your files with you. Okay, so we've got 1,464 
songs in the music finder. And um, one of the things that we've been doing is we've been adding some of the Tyros 3 songs that they haven't brought across into here. So we can actually get this to over 2,000 songs for you. But you'll be familiar with the, the music finder facility. And it's so useful because we can go in and we can save our favourites and put them into a tab. So if there's a song that you like, we can, um, we've got this tab here, there's four that we've got in this one at the moment, but we can find a song that we really enjoy and we can save it into our favourites tab. So we choose it, we just literally go down to the one we want to find and enter, and then we go add to favourites, look. And that then says, do you want to add it to the favourites list? Yes, we do. And that means now that in my favourites tab, I've got five songs that we've got a hard day's night at the top there. So we've got our ways to, to make the ones that we use the most available to us very, very easily. And this music find is great if you want to set up a particular song. So if we wanted to go through, look, I'm just going to pick one to show you. We'll go down to a spoonful of sugar. I'm going to press enter. And I'm going to just play my chord. And everything's set up for me. And I've got four variations as well. Ending. They got phrases, don't they? <laughs> a really really big sound isn't it just the engines do go on a bit don't they but they are brilliant really good big full sounds and they make you enjoy music don't they They encourage you to play more and they give you that really good feel good factor now then some of the other good styles that are in there let's go away from the music finder the style section is is very well uh, built up with lots of new rhythms and backing so if I go into the swing and jazz one we've got one called jazz singers and this actually uses all those new vocal sounds if I put on an intro and we'll start with the, um, the jazz singers one. Beautiful rhythm. Exit back again. Oh, something else you can do is, when you're in that rhythm, we can go into OTS info on here, look. And it shows me the four settings that I can get from the A, B, C, D buttons. Piano sound. So that's a really good style. That's the jazz singers. And there's loads of other new ones. Let's go to the next one down. Big band jazz. 
clarinet sound coming in there, really objective. I love all the drums at the end. It, it's just uplifting, isn't it? Okay, let's go to some more styles that are new in here. I mean, there's loads in each section. That's what they've done. If we go into the movie and show section, uh, there's some really good styles in here. So if you look in here, we've got, again, the, the choir stuff. We've got ethereal voices. We've got choral symphony. Um, they're bringing in those choir sounds, the choir soundtrack here, look. And they're the really big, full sounds that we want. But something they've really um, brought more of into this uh, keyboard, the Taurus 4, is these free play. Now these are um, ethereal type um, backings where there's no beat to keep to. Um, on all the styles usually on the keyboards, you've always got to keep to this beat and if your timing goes out, it's really noticeable to certain people and they, they notice that you've not kept with that beat and it's just off. So what we can do on here is we've got this uh, set of styles called free play where there's no set timing. Apart from if you use the fill-ins perhaps or the endings, then all your playing can be at any speed you like and it won't make any difference to what you're um, doing with the rhythm section. So let's give you an example. We've got Ethereal Voices. This is a new one, really good for hymns. So if we go to Ethereal Voices, we've got the four settings. So let's see what the four settings are. We've got choir, oboe, boys choir going R and strings. So I'm just going to start off with number A, first one. It shows it me in orange. Let's play my first chord. I'm going to put an introduction on. This is beautiful. hymns we could just play soft songs so I'm just gonna play a hymn let's go to the second one in Third one. Big strings. It's a really, really big sound, and that's the ethereal voices. Now, some of you um, will probably remember on the um, the Tyrus Three, you've got ethereal movie. And that's on here too. And that, that again is a really big favorite of mine. Really good for the Titanic theme. So if we go into this button again, OTS, we can see we've got flute, Irish pipe air, strings and horns. So if we go to the flute sound to start, let's get our intro on again. I was just playing to get an idea of the ethereal move. Again, a free play, no, no beat to keep to. Intro. Nice, soft, and we can use the pitch bend. Go up an octave.
Let's go to the B sound. The vibrato, the modulation. And let's go to the next sound. Turn this back off again. Go to the horns. Really accentuating. Now I transpose it up here and go back to my flute. big big full sound and that's one of my favorites I think on the whole instrument now some others we've got on here that are new especially if you've had a three before uh, on Broadway this is a great one it's another free play again so these are free play I'm showing you and they're no big beats to keep up with you can use it for all styles of music but they give you some suggestions so on Broadway is great for all I ask of you the Andrew Lloyd Webber song so let's put on the intro So we've got a bit of a beat to the first bit and then it just leaves it for you to play at any speed you like. What sounds I'm going to get, I'm going to press the OTS info. The oboe first. Go to the second one, strings. That's nice. Let's go to the horns. nice and all the effects that come in as well now uh, one of the features on here is repertoire this is a really good feature so repertoire looks on the style that you've chosen and tells you if, if there's any songs in the music finder that use that rhythm so if we want to play on board right let's see what the rhythms what songs they put in repertoire and it looks and it says three okay I've never been in love before I won't send roses that'd be nice yeah and Amapola. So we've got a, a way of looking for the style that you like to see if there's a song in the music finder that works very, very well with that. So that's a really good feature. Okay, all of the styles have really been updated. If we go into any of the categories, um, another favourite of mine is the, is the gospel ones. We'll just show you one more in the gospel one. We've got one called um, Gospel Party, okay? And this is a, a sort of a real upbeat gospel rhythm. So I'm going to play with the introduction and we'll just use the onboard sounds again, but, um, but it's, just, it's just a really uplifting sound. So let's try this one out.
Now one thing I do on this one is I use my intro number uh, three as a little in, uh, in fill. Great fun. So this is the Tyros 4. We've got new speakers. We've got blue buttons rather than green. We've got loads and loads of new styles. We've got a much better uh, sound. Think of the pixels where you've got the, the screen on your television. They've got much clearer, better sound. And um, it's got a whole lot going for it. Buy one. You really should. Treat yourself. And if you want to upgrade to one of these Tyros 4s, all you have to do is get in touch with us. You can get in touch by phoning us, by our live chat on our website, or send us an email and we can get it all sorted out for you. And the boys will be out delivering it, set it all up in your home for you, pick up the old one really easily. We make it very simple for you. We want it to be a very easy transaction. Give us a call.